गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम नेहा एंड आई हैव ब्रॉड टू यू दिस मॉर्निंग टेल सीरीज ऑफ आर्स फॉर टूडे दैट इज ऑगस्ट थर्टी टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सो लेट्स बिगिन आर मॉर्निंग टेल्स विद दिस फर्स्ट न्यूज विच इज दैट सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज अलाउड अ हंड्रेड परसेंट एफ डी आई इन कोल माइनिंग एंड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मैनुफैक्चरिंग वाइल अ ट्वेंटी सिक्स परसेंट एफ डी आई इज अलाउड इन डिजिटल सेक्टर सो रिसेंटली इन द मीटिंग बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस this amendment or this new measure has been implemented in which the central government has allowed a 100% fdi in coal mining sector as well as in the contract manufacturing sector and this 26% fdi is allowed in digital media sector and one part of this digital media sector constitutes of broadcasting content services in which the 49% fdi has been made available and now the second amendment which has been considered by ministry of finance is that uh, the single brand retail traders with 51% fdi as their equity have to local source up to 30% so this was the earlier requirement and now this requirement of 30% is there but it will be calculated on the basis of their first 5 years of operations and apart from this the other change for the single brand retail traders is that that now they can sell their products online which was not allowed earlier earlier they have to open a store basically a physical store in india to start their operations and now this compulsion of opening the physical store has been removed partially so friends do pay attention to the word partially because they are now required to open the physical store but they can do so within Two years of their operations on online. So basically, they it is a kind of free hand which has been given to these single brand retail traders. Now the companies like Apple can benefit from this amendment and they can sell their products directly into India. And the fourth amendment is that for sugar cane farmers, the Union Cabinet has approved an export subsidy of rupees ten point four five per kg, and this subsidy. aims to facilitate around 60 lakh metric tons of exports from india so it will be a boost for the global sugar cane supply as well as for indian exports also so now let's move on to the first question of today that is which country has become the first nation in the world to issue a biometric seafarer identity document so friends this is quite important from exam point of view the country which has become the first nation in the world to issue a biometric seafarer identity document is india so this bsid is a smart identity card which will help the countries to identify indian seafarers the indian seafarers get it easy to get employment at other places also in the shipping sector now let's move on to the second question that is which company has initiated the first of its kind in india digital governance tech tour to guide and train the government's it officials about the high tech skills so quite amazing initiative it is because this initiative is first of its kind in india and this initiative aims to train the government officials about the artificial intelligence technologies and high tech skills to improve the efficiency so now which company has done so so it is microsoft which has initiated this tour to guide the uh, government's it officials about the high technology next question so the third question of the day is what is the name of the app launched by ministry of chemicals and fertilizers to help people in locating generic medicines and stores easily so recently ministry of chemicals and fertilizers has launched an app to help the people in locating the generic medicines and stores very easily so the name of that app is jan aushadhi sugam if you guys know the english translation of the word sugam then you would easily remember the name of this application sugam refers to easy outreach so basically this app has been designed to help the people in locating or in reaching out to the local generic medicine stores or getting information about the generic medicines now the second thing which this ministry of chemicals and fertilizers has done is that jan aushadhi suvidha 
oxo biodegradable sanitary napkins so these are the sanitary napkins which were launched by ministry for chemicals and fertilizers in the year 2018 and now they have been made available at rupees 1 only so this is not so important from exam point of view but it's just for your knowledge this is an important question so do listen to this question very carefully what is the new gdp projection of india for 2019 to 20 by indra indra stands for india ratings and research and it is a fitch group company which forecast about the gdp growth so for the year 2019 to 2020 indra has forecasted a gdp growth rate of 6.7% and according to analysts this 6.7 percentage is a 6 year low the previous forecast by indra for 2019 to 2020 stands at 7.3 percent and now it has been reduced to 6.7 percent and the main reasons behind reducing the gdp growth rate is slow demand automobile crisis uneven monsoon pattern global trade wars low manufacturing growth and delayed resolution by insolvency and bankruptcy court these are the reasons we are already aware of so due to these reasons many agencies are nowadays lowering india's gdp growth projections so i would request you guys to keep a track of all the latest gdp projections for india because they can be asked in the exam apart from this the wholesale price index inflation for the year 2019 to 2020 has been forecasted at a rate of 3.2% by indra and the consumer price index has been pegged at 3.8% and this is the whole year forecast so do remember this thing that the gdp projection has been lowered by indra so guys can you tell me that in the recent days which all organizations have reduced the gdp projections we have already discussed that in the previous morning tales so do mention your answers in the comment section below next question this is an interesting question friends which company will replace india bulls housing finance on nifty index so national stock exchange first of all we need to know this thing that nifty index is kept by national stock exchange and national stock exchange has decided to replace india bulls housing finance with nestle india now why is this so this is because the stock prices of india bulls housing finance has been continuously falling due to the liquidity crisis in the nbfc and this nestle india company is doing good on bsc so that is why the national stock exchange has decided to replace india bulls with nestle india in its nifty 50 list so this was quite an interesting news and also important from exam point of view next question where has the software technology parks of india set up a first of its kind center of excellence in fintech that is named as finblue so it has been opened in tamil nadu in chennai tamil nadu a little more information about finblue so finblue is the center of excellence specifically designed for fintech startups and this center of excellence aims to incubate 58 fintech startups to help them in growing apart from this the software technology parks of india that is stpi has also signed an mou with national research development corporation to provide support to the startups for filling their intellectual property rights so basically in getting the uh patent rights of the st- startups registered this national research development corporation will help those startups under this mou which has been signed by stpi and this national research development corporation so that was all about this uh, question the next question is who has been appointed as the president of paytm so if you guys are following the morning tales then you would know that we have already asked this question in one of our previous morning tales so now you must be thinking that what's the reason behind coming up with the same question again so the reason here is that that recently paytm has appointed amit nayar as its president and on 19th august there was a news that the cfo that is chief financial officer of paytm which is madhu diora had been promoted to the 
post of president and now this news has broke up that amit nayar has been appointed as the new president of paytm so now this amit nayar is the president of paytm many of my students have asked me this thing that whether it's madhu diora or it's amit nayar so it is amit nayar next question is who has been awarded with the rashtriya khel protsahan puraskar 2019 so guys if you are familiar with this face then you would know the answer to this question which is gagan narang so recently he has been chosen for this award and with which sport is he related to from this gun it is evident that he is related to the sport of shooting so do remember these two things that 2019 award is being uh, awarded to him and he is related to shooting so this is a static question in which field is ramen magasese award not given so before discussing the answer to this question let us discuss first about this award itself so this award has been constituted by philippines and it has been named after their president that is ramen magasese and it is given in the fields of public service journalism social service and community leadership so clearly the answer to this question is option c that is literature in the field of literature this award is not given so guys can you name the person who has been awarded this raman magsesay award in the year 2019 we have also covered that in one of our morning tales previously so do mention your answer in the comment section below that this year's award has been given to whom so let's discuss the last question of the day that is where is valley of flowers national park located so this is the question for you guys i am leaving out this question for you to answer in the comment section below but before bidding adieu to you guys let me tell you that this national park is quite amazing and it is famous for its meadows of endemic alpine flowers so now it's time to conclude our morning tales for today and friends if you have liked our video so do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for all the latest notifications and thank you so much for watching our video